hello guys and welcome back i have not done a video in this office that is because i only set the office up yesterday please excuse the poorly decorated christmas tree in the background that is just a test i've still got lots of mini balls ah oh fuck that really hurts that obviously hurts so much as i was saying I've still got lots of mini ball balls that I need to set up, but they they came without the thread, so it took me a while. Anyway, that has nothing to do with today's video. Today's video is a gym girls wish list. Now, a couple of people have been asking me to link certain things on my Instagram, and I thought it'd be a really good idea for me to actually put together a list of multiple different, I suppose, Christmas gift ideas, but also self love gift ideas. And yeah, I've literally behind me got my computer, with lots of pictures to try and keep me my mind like in check so obviously there are loads and loads of gym clothes that i could go through and i think i'm going to leave that just to the end because it's pretty obvious okay so first i'm going to go through shoes so this is a pretty broad subject it depends if you are a highly experienced lifter or if you are someone who just wants a nice flat sole that's easy to lift in so i'm going to go through a couple of shoe options so first of all i'm going to go through these nike Lifting shoes, so I don't have these. Matt has them. They're perfect if you are like a pretty experienced lifter, um, but also maybe if you are new to lifting and you just feel as if you really wanna get started in the right place, then these Nike shoes are absolutely incredible. Yes, they're a little bit more on the pricey side. I wouldn't say you necessarily need them. However, if you do want to, as I said, really maximize those lift and optimize it as much as possible, then I probably would opt for a lifting shoe. Another alternative to a lifting shoe are these Nike Metcon. So these are the Metcon 4s. They also have Metcon eights maybe which i will literally put up here two very different looking style trainers both a training shoe and both really really easy to use i've got the metcon fours and i absolutely love them i want them in all multiple colors they're really comfy really easy to wear the only thing i would say with gym shoes is make sure that you do keep them for the gym you don't want them getting dirty and also they just last a lot longer then you can obviously opt for your standard converse these are perfect they are cheap and also as i said i would keep a pair just for the gym just because otherwise you find you go through them so quick especially if you buy white which is my downfall i always buy white like white trainers and i have to use them only for the gym otherwise they don't last very long also you can opt for like an old school van also the high top versions as well but I've seen Chrissy Chella recently wearing just these ones and I just think they look so cute with like the slightly shorter length legging. So that is almost like without socks or with little like slip on socks, which I think are just super cute and easy. Uh, and then we can also opt for like a Nike blazer. These were like really trending at the beginning of the year and I think they're definitely an easy option and a, a well-priced option for shoes. The only thing for me personally is I didn't feel that they were as comfortable. They're definitely as supportive on your ankle as like a high top converse or van however yeah for me they just weren't as comfortable as some of the others okay whilst we're talking about feet <laughs> a bit of a weird thing to say we're gonna go on to socks so i mean you can get any like crew socks i just most of the time use these night ones the only thing i would say if you share with your boyfriend like i do his feet are a lot bigger than mine and i do find that they hold a lot of like bunch at the back of my shoe or even above the shoe so definitely make sure that you do get your own size like is that really obvious i don't know i would just normally share with matt but don't don't with the nike ones because they give so much material at the back adidas ones are a little bit better but the logo is a lot more obvious on them another option obviously is going to be just the little like slip on like socks like these ones from nike they're really really good again like i said a minute ago if you fancy just wearing like the low top converse or vans or the metcons potentially these would be a really nice look with a slightly cropped legging or a slightly shorter legging so for example when i ordered from honor honor active i managed to get the regular short length leg in the leggings and i just find that sometimes it's like a perfect length to put like a low top shoe on i just think it looks flattering okay so that is that i mean all of those socks you can get you know what i mean you can get them from anywhere um but what i thought i would probably touch on next whilst we're kind of sticking with that kind of accessories is underwear so a lot of people ask me do you wear underwear i do i am not one to not wear it i just don't personally feel comfortable and i would rather wear knickers so i always will opt for no vpl and to the point where i wear these so often that when i wear like a normal thong it's uncomfortable so 
These are Victoria's Secret or they're, they're pink. These are just some of the no show like thongs. I also have some from MS, which are here. The only difference is they are like a different material. Like these are like a like micro, like fibre kind of material, and these are like a really <laughs> shiny soft material, buttery material maybe. So yeah, either of these would be great. The only thing that I would say is I would usually opt for like a nude colour or a lighter colour because obviously they will hide better under the gym, uh, gym wear that you are wearing. I know it would be amazing if we could have underwear in the same colour as every single pair of leggings that we do, but obviously it's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, I would opt for something like this. I've also seen some on other websites. I'm sure you can have a little look around uh, and find the, the best versions that work for you. Talking on accessories, I thought I would go through some of the things that I use all the time in the gym. So these are the lifting strap with wrist support. So I use these at the moment and I absolutely love them. These are just from Strong, so it is Lisa Fit and Remains brand. I used them when they were Strong and Sexy and now they've obviously rebranded and they're honestly so good. I feel like that wrist support is also enough sometimes for like a wrist wrap. So you feel as if you have the wrist wrap and the lifting strap in one go. These are honestly so good. Also from the same range, I've just literally used it from their website. These are like lifting cuffs or ankle attachments. I wouldn't necessarily use them as cuffs. I'd usually use them probably more as ankle, like for kickbacks and things like that. But these are just so easy to like have in your gym bag, convenient and also not having to share with other people and look around. Like the ones in the gym I always find are so like tatty and like overused. And so I'd definitely opt to if you want to get yourself some own or whoever you're buying a present for. These are some different lifting straps. So these are like the loop lifting straps there are multiple types you can also get like figure eight um, lifting straps I personally don't like the figure eight ones I feel that like they just don't give me enough support with the lift I feel as if sometimes maybe my wrist is a little bit too small and I feel as if it either is too tight or not tight enough so I would definitely opt for like the loop ones if you can so these are another really really good example or if you want to the previous ones that I spoke about a lifting belt I actually don't use a lifting belt probably because I'm not actually lifting heavy enough right yet as soon as I feel as if I need one then I will start wearing one but yeah I've never worn one um, but I know that a lot of people would love them I've just literally shoved a strong one on here I don't know how great it is I wouldn't know but it's a good idea for a gift this one's like really random this is a mirror fit hip thrust box now this box we have the one that's at the front of the photo this box is literally my life I want to take it with me everywhere I go and it's not realistic but I mean I probably could leave it in the car but we have these up at my gym and they are the perfect height for hip thrust. They are comfy, they're easy to use. The only downfall of it is you need to put like a weight behind it. Otherwise you sometimes when you feel like you're going up, you feel like you're gonna fall back. But honestly, I can't explain to you how much I love it. I go to other gyms without it and it, it just doesn't feel the same like I don't feel comfortable hip thrusting without it anymore talking on hip thrust obviously a hip thrust pad I mean here it's called a squat pad but I would not really use it for squats I would definitely utilize it for hip thrust also I sometimes find the heavier that I go I need a pad and a mat and that's fine I feel like I can whoosh more weight up with less pressure on my hips okay let's talk gym bags so these bags are amazing they're built for athletes uh we have had them for years i remember about six years ago i won a competition to win two bags so me and matt got one each and they have evolved so much since then this is one of the like small um backpacks which i think would be perfect for like any gym girl the big ones are absolutely massive but they're so convenient like if, even if you want to like, go on holiday they're perfect like hand luggage if you've only got hand luggage they are so good they are a little bit pricey but it's a one-off price i suppose also you can just get like a barrel bag like i sometimes like i like these but i sometimes find that i lose things in them a lot the same with a tote bag which is really similar to this one i love 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 my honor tote bag it's not available on the website at the moment otherwise i would have used that one it is so good and cute it's aesthetic however i do feel like i lose a lot of things in there but i don't care it also fits so much stuff in there because it's like open the only thing that i do find with it if i'm going on like a long trip so for example if i'm getting the train up to london and i do take it i feel a little bit um worried that things are going to fall out so definitely be aware of that another thing i wanted to talk about was tripods now i know that if you don't film in the gym you might not be interested in a tripod but i literally think this is so important if you want to film on your phone it might not be as good for a camera i'm not entirely sure i've only used it on my phone you need this type of tripod so this type of tripod it obviously tripods at the bottom and then i've got it here so it tripods at the bottom 
if you can see. And then the adjustable parts are on this main like tripod selfie stick extendable thing. So it then looks like this. So it basically means that when you're in the gym, you're only taking up that amount of space rather than if you have one hot, like when the adjustable things are on the legs. Oh my God, I had that for so long and I realized how inconvenient it is. You need to get one of these ones. So this is the one that you should get. And this is an alternative of one that I would opt away from getting. Don't get me wrong, I've used these before. They're perfectly good, like they are fine. I just found that I was taking up like so much space in the gym and people were having to like really walk around it. Whereas this is a lot more subtle and a lot easier to use. And yeah, I love it. So a couple of other accessories before we go on to clothing. So this is my um, fitness and wellness journal. So it is essentially a daily journal with the use of like a logbook. So you can utilize it to track your workouts and your weights, which I would 100% suggest that you guys do. If you're new to the gym and you start this now, you're going to have the best movie games ever. You need to track your weights. Don't be that person like me who went to the gym for like years and just didn't really have much structure go in with a well thought out plan, grab a coach, get a plan off of a coach, whatever that looks like for you, and smash your workouts. It is the best thing you will ever do. So yeah, this is the fitness and wellness journal, would definitely recommend something like that. You can also just get like standard log books, which you can just track your workouts. Um, my wellness journal has a little bit more of like wellness, so like gratitudes, um, how much water you've drank, X, Y, and Z. Another thing on accessories is always gonna be AirPods. So I just have these like standard second generation AirPods. I don't have the AirPod Pro. I have had like beats over the head before and I didn't like love them. I felt like when I went to press up, they just kept like falling off but I do absolutely love these like airpod max like I've, again I've not tried them myself I just mean I think they are so aesthetic they're so pretty the price is extortionate however I do think that they're probably exceptional and they're noise cancelling so you can't really go wrong with them now these are two random ones so I want to talk about an air fryer so this is the ninja these air fryers are so good they obviously have two little pockets on them I really wish that when we first got one this was this was available because I think when we ordered or when we got our air fryer like a good few years ago, this one wasn't an option. Also a Nutribullet, so I love this Nutribullet. It's so good for like pancakes, it's good to make like soups, it's also good for like, uh, you wanna make your own pasta sauce, baked oats, smoothies, the whole lot. It is so fantastic and I really didn't realize how much I actually would utilize it once I got it and I think it's a pretty good price. So yeah, I would 100% also recommend a Nutribullet or a blender of some sort. I think this one is fantastic. But yeah, for accessories, I just think these two, I know they're kitchen accessories, but they are so good for fitness, keeping on track, well-being, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so now I've gone through all of that, those other bits, I wanna talk a little bit on clothing. And I know that this list could be endless, like we could carry on for so long, but I wanted to talk about some of my favorite um, honor pieces because I just feel as if this is important for you guys to know. These are the Effortless Micro Bralettes. So this is the color Midnight and this is the color Sage. Sage is my absolute number one favorite color. I just think it's beautiful. It's just really, really nice on your skin tone and it is so gorgeous. Um, so these are stunning. Hopefully they'll be restocked very soon. I know that they're a new release, but these are 100% would recommend getting some of these. Also from Honor, the Effortless Leggings. They are by far my favorite. So this is the Amethyst and the Sage again. You can mix and match, but of course, some Sometimes just getting the matching set is really really nice also we have the like classic lounge oversized hoodie this is in the silver gray mall i've got this and i absolutely love it i've also got it in black and it is so comfy easy to put on it's also one of those things that you might like wearing just like sat on the sofa so it's really good for like in the gym but also outside then their classic lounge joggers, like they are just so nice. So here we have the sand and then we have um, the cropped hoodie in the sand as well. So both the joggers and the hoodie look so nice together. You can wear them to like airport on a train, like they're real comfy, but also look stunning. And then I'm actually just picking out a couple more of my favorite bits. So this is the effortless seamless long sleeved top. This is in light denim and I've got the short sleeve top in this. I absolutely love the color, but also love the fit. The material is literally like a second skin. It is so comfy, really easy to wear, really stretchy, um, but also really easy to take on and off. So it's like, it keeps you warm, but it's not too hot. And the final thing that I just want to touch on is the graphic oversized long sleeve top. And these are OG honor, like 
oh god i just think that they are iconic i've said this before they are perfect they have them in so many colors and they're so they're like a really nice thick material the tea materials are so good and i would absolutely recommend trying one of those out if you haven't already because the back of them is super cute um i'll try and find a photo of me in one and the back of them are super cute very similar to just the normal teas just with the branding they're lush um and also so subtle so guys i've literally been talking at you for 18 minutes sorry about that but I really hope that that gives some people some clear indication of either A, what they want for Christmas, or B, what you can buy your gym gal for Christmas. Um, or just, as I said, a self-love gift, because we all need that now and then. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will try and link as much as possible below. Um, I'll do my very best. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was really beneficial, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, guys.